Okay, this is an appeal to Ron Paul and Jesse Ventura to unite with Ross Perot to form the Democratic Republican Party out of the Independent Party and all the Democrats and all the Republicans who want to join what we're going to call the American Party. Uh, you'll get 40% of the vote from the Democrats, 40% from the Republicans, and then the run right down the middle and take 80% of the vote. Uh, Ross Perot got 19% uh, when he ran. That's the middle uh, between the Dems and the, and the Rebs. So you've got to uh, unite. Jesse uh, ran as independent. Uh, he knows the problems. He's got a few things uh, he should look up on this PBS uh, um, three-hour uh, documentary on the Trade Center, what really happened on the design there, how that thing collapsed because it was made so cheap. Uh, the, the floors pancaked down. There were no bombs in there, Jesse. But I like uh, what you've got to say. You should listen to me on some things. Uh, call me sometime. Uh, I would like to be campaign manager. Uh, You've got fascists have the hit a hit out on the, the president right now. The right wing, the KKK, and the American Nazi Party have united, and the Nazis merged with the GOP a long time ago. So, you're really fighting racists and fascists in the GOP right now. Uh, those people have no scruples. Uh, they will stop at nothing. They will do anything to get elected. Say anything. Uh, you know, character assassination is part of their, uh, you know, repertoire. It's just what they do. And, uh, you know, the same kind of people that killed uh, 6 million Jews and 29 million Russians, those kind of people, uh, they'll kill anybody uh, if they think uh, they're going to win. And, uh, you know, Hitler, it didn't matter. Uh, what he had to do, if he shoot the firing squad that shot the firing squad that shot the firing squad that shot the people he wanted to get rid of, you know, he got rid of the witnesses. So, um, you know, you don't know where the bodies are buried, but uh, what you do have is a movement uh, by the right to take power. They've got Congress under control. Uh, They've stopped the president from making any progress. They're so pretty much uh, calling him a communist like they did Kennedy before they shot him. And uh, he is in the tradition that goes back to King and uh, Lincoln. And uh, I've already told the Secret Service this. So, uh, you know, whether they can catch him before they can do this is another thing. However, the man is just... Uh, too young to be president. He just doesn't know history well enough to know uh, who's lying and who isn't. And right now, who's lying is the Israelis and Netanyahu lying about Iran the same way they lied about Iraq. And uh, they got us killed in Iraq, and they're going to get us into World War III in Iran. Uh, it's time to stop this before it gets started. And uh, really, you know, there isn't going to be any life after World War III because it's going to be a nuclear war. Uh, the U.S. already has its own problems. It's already divided every which way but Sunday. Um, but um, they, they can't, uh, you know, they're, they're, it's like Hitler's idea was to kill anybody who can't work and enslave anybody who can. And say that he's better than them. Uh, racism and fascism are very much the same in that they think one group is better than another. And the, the white supremacists uh, don't want to admit that they're fascists. Uh, come on, give me a break. I mean, who, who do they think the white Aryans were in Nazi Germany? Uh, but the fascists, so uh, the fascists uh, motto is capitalists of the world unite and uh, pretty much you've got Trump and Romney already united uh, and they've all got Bain damage so uh, 
you know, if you want the brain damage people uh, to run the government, then let the Republicans win this election. Uh, Romney is a complete idiot, believe me. You should take the M out of Mormon and make it moron, and uh, that's what Romney is. Paul Ryan is worse. Uh, someone should tell him ever since John F. Kennedy was shot, there will never be another Catholic president. And he's no John F. Kennedy for sure. Uh, guy's a little rat. Uh, all I can see is he wants to take money from the poor and give it to the rich, take it out of the mouths of the starving children. Uh, I mean, he doesn't even want to. I mean, the Republicans are talking about cutting food stamps $16 billion. Uh, I don't know how their what their defense budget six hundred and eighty billion dollars. Uh, you might as well say seven hundred billion dollars a year, and that's in borrowed money. And uh, they don't want to cut anything in defense. And as far as they're concerned, that's uh, what America is all about: is uh, nine hundred bases overseas we can't afford. So. Ron is right. We need to sell the bases. Uh, well, he says close them down. Why not sell them to the Chinese? Uh, who's afraid of the big bad Chinese, by the way? Uh, they helped us beat the Japanese in World War II. Uh, if it hadn't been for the Nazis and the CIA, I don't think we would have invaded Korea. Uh, by the way, we ought to reunite Korea take the 26,000 troops out of there, get rid of the landmines, for God's sake, and uh, reunite that country. Uh, we killed three million Vietnamese in undeclared war. We should not be in any declared war. So you've got the policies out there. Ron Paul's got books out. Uh, Jesse, you got the youth vote in Minnesota. You. Uh, you were popular and people still like you. Uh, I know you're better than a lot of men, uh, especially Romney and Ryan. Uh, in fact, you're an honest man and uh, I don't trust those guys as far as I could throw an anvil, which is uh, not very far. So, uh, I mean, I can't throw an anvil, so let's face it. The uh, the country really needs uh, something and uh, it needs a challenge to Obama and Romney. Need to go right down the middle, take 80% of the vote, run on the internet as uh, the American party, get the independents to join, make them the, the Democratic Republican Party, organize in all 50 states. And you would uh, and run candidates as Democratic or Republicans in all 50 states. Ron Paul's endorsing people uh, right now. Imagine uh, you had the American Party with 80% of the vote taking back the state houses and the uh, city and county governments, and uh, and then let's create a well-regulated militia, state militias in all 50 states. Uh, instead of the National Guard and the state police and all this stuff, have every town with uh, its 21-year-olds uh, join the state militia and regulate, well-regulate these weapons so you don't have these nuts like this nut in Aurora. So, by the way, what's wrong with Colorado? But uh, you need uh, you know, to ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the public defense, and uh, and promote the general welfare. There would be nothing better than to have uh, a well-regulated militia and do something like the tribes in Africa where you had uh, wrestling matches. So you knew who could beat who in every town, in every city, who, who the real men were and who, who the real men weren't. Uh, you know, you wouldn't let these nuts uh, sit in their houses playing their PCs. They, they're 21, like the Greeks used to do. Uh, they had to join the army when they were 21 for two years. But this would be the militia, not uh, the international thing. And then if someone attacked us, we'd have the United Militias 
of America would be our defense, and that's what Ron Paul's talking about. Uh, you know, the public defense, not uh, foreign occupation. So we would follow Jefferson's, for, I mean, uh, Washington's farewell address, where he says to pay down the debt in peacetime you occurred during war, not favor or disfavor any nation. Uh, we wouldn't be favoring China or Israel, and we wouldn't be disfavoring Venezuela, Iran, or these other countries. And uh, by the way, there's a lot of propaganda from the Israelis that was not true on Iraq, and it is not true on Iran. And meanwhile, everybody from Obama down to Trump uh, believes the bullshit and uh, doesn't know the truth. So uh, you have to have uh, people running the government who are honest, based on honest policy and not on uh, favoring or disfavoring some bunch of crooks, okay? So, I mean, especially favoring uh, people who are lying to you and stabbing you in the back who uh, think you think they're your friends. You know, there's a problem with having too much money uh, blessed be a little poverty when you can't afford all these guns like this kid out in uh, Colorado could afford. Uh, how could he afford 100,000 bullets and all this stuff? Where'd this kid get this kind of money? I mean, we just got too much money and then we're wasting it and then we're wasting our, uh, our blood and treasure, as uh, Senator Byrd said, in undeclared wars. And like Ron Paul says, we haven't declared a war since 1941. We didn't need to go into Korea. We didn't need Vietnam. In fact, it was the most divisive war. It was a racist war, most divisive war since the Civil War. And by the way, Hitler wanted an empire like the British Empire. The British brought the slaves over here. They practiced slavery everywhere they went. They uh, they preached self-government and practiced slavery. We were over there bombing people in Libya and the uh, trying to claim we're going to create a democracy, trying to claim we're going to create a democracy by bombing people into the Stone Ages. Uh, like Trump says, everybody hates us. A hundred percent of the Egyptians hate us. They see the Israelis uh, killing children on TV every day. They, they know we support uh, Israel, and Israel has their top spies over here. Uh, collecting scandals on congressmen, they're using the blackmail congressmen, and they have the biggest lobby in D.C. that they're using the bribe couriers or uh, blackmail congressmen or their influential aides if they can't go through the congressmen to do what they want them to do. They've got Ben I. Brith and ADL saying they're anti-Semitic. If you criticize them, uh, nobody can criticize them. They got rid of Gus Savage, who was a Democrat from Chicago, because he tried to criticize them on their uh, policies uh, back in 83. They um, they helped Bush uh, get reelected, and in 2004, the Miami Cubans stole the election in uh, 2000, and the Obama hasn't prosecuted anybody. Uh, it's kind of like Caesar letting these people run loose. Uh, you should come down on, you know, if someone has a hit out on you, uh, it looks like you'd be fair game. I've, I've told Secret Service, but uh, it's hard to get someone to investigate. Uh, Eric Holder should be investigating the Israeli Mossad, but uh, the Republicans got him pinned down with Daryl Issa, who's a car thief, uh, uh, stole a guy's car in the army, and uh, took it to Cleveland to show his mother, said he bought this car, then the guy was going to kill him, he ditched it on the highway, then he stole a Maserati with somebody. Now the guy's got $450 million and uh, can sit on his rear end prosecuting the, the Attorney General while uh, the spies are eating us alive here. The uh, Israelis are here under deep cover with their top spies making Nineteen hundred dollars a day, or say, might as well say two thousand a day. These guys could care less. Uh, they have uh, some congressmen bought and paid for, and uh, I would say the right wing of the Republican Party is bought and paid for. 
uh, and plus, uh, the Nazis merged with these guys, so they're all fascists, okay? So it's fascists of the world united now, and uh, that's what's fighting, that's uh, the Romney side of the equation. So you've got your work cut out for you. Uh, you've got the money and the power. Uh, if you want to call me, uh, I've got a video here with my name and number. Uh, but uh, probably the numbers change. So try 201 598 5500. And uh, as for Dan. Okay, that's enough.